Econs ILP by Linus Ted Elijah Richard Positive Consumption Externalities It occurs when the consumption of a good positively affects the well-being of third parties. Some terms to know. Private marginal cost PMC measures cost of producers of producing additional units of goods such as wages and materials. Private marginal benefit PMB measures the benefit to consumers from consuming additional units of goods. Problem. Currently, there is an underconsumption of education in countries as the social benefits are not fully considered. Hence, there is underallocation of resources and loss of social benefits from lack of education. Background information. There is a lack of education in Pakistan. With little resources and lack of facilities and teachers, this has resulted in underconsumption of education and loss of societal benefits of education. Social marginal benefit SMB measures the benefit to society from the consumption of additional units of education. Social marginal cost SMC measures cost to society from consumption of additional units of education. At E, equilibrium is at PM and QM. This is where benefit of consuming additional units of education equals cost for society and individuals. Allocation of resources is socially efficient and hence no market failure. Consumption of education generates external benefits to society which results in a divergence between private and social benefits. With SMB lying above PMB since SMB equals PMB plus EMB. For example, people who do not receive education still enjoy an improved standard of living from the effort of educated citizens. This is an external marginal benefit. Thus, market equilibrium quantity for education increases from QO to Q1, where full cost and social benefits are accounted for to have a socially efficient and output and allocation. Market equilibrium price increases from PO to P1. There's a rise in price leading to underconsumption as the market overpriced education, deterring people from receiving education due to high cost. There's an underconsumption of education of Q1 and Q2 since Q1 is greater than Q0. Hence, it will ABC is a dead weight welfare loss due to underconsumption of education. This shows there is inefficient allocation resources and overpricing, which leads to market failure. Solutions to market failure This graph shows the effect of subsidies by government as well as positive advertising to promote education. Solution number one, go to school campaigns. Advertising the benefits, importance and necessity of education to improve standard of living will increase PMB and demand for education. This causes the PMB curve to shift to the right. The equilibrium will shift from C to E. Quantity demanded increases from Q0 to Q1. This decreases the weight welfare loss from ABC to FPE. What does this mean? The day weight welfare loss is decreased. Hence, for the consumption of education is not at a socially optimum quantity, there is still increase in consumption and the difference in underconsumption decreases. With the current strong social stigma against female education and focus on children working to sustain the family, it will be difficult to convince parents to send their children to school. Furthermore, the current education system lacks resources and competent staff in order to improve the education level of the country. More could be done by the government in terms of funding for the betterment of education. Hence, our second solution aims to address this. Solution 2. Government Subsidies or Provisions The government can provide subsidies or provisions to improve quality of education and increase affordability. The graph shows a subsidy that equals to EMB at Q2. This lowers cost, leading to an increase in supply. This leads to a lowered price, P2, and increased quantity demanded at Q2. New equilibrium is at B. What does this mean? The new market equilibrium B coincides with socially efficient quantity Q2. Education is thus more affordable and of higher standard before the subsidy or provision. Hence, the externality has been internalized. Limitations 2. Currently, being a developing country, Pakistan runs on a tight budget as it spends mostly on social factors such as healthcare, food security, development, etc. Thus, the government places less emphasis on funding and education as it is not prioritized. Thanks for watching.